Well, hello everybody. It's been a long time, but I am back. So today I'm going to talk about uh, Leonardo.ai. So this is like mid-journey, so stable diff diffusion. So um, typically you give a prompt, a text prompt, and then it generates some kind of uh, image. Uh, which may or may not correspond to your to your vision, whatever you had in your mind when you wrote the, the text prompt. But Leonardo.ai is pretty new. Uh, it's very easy to get in the program. And unlike Midjourney, it's uh, it's kind of free. Basically, every day you are given like I think 250 tokens, and basically, anytime you, anytime you uh, ask Leonardo.ai to do something, it costs you one token, and 250 tokens. I think it's pretty good per day. So that's pretty good per day. So then every day, so every day it resets. Anyway, so. What's cool about Leonardo.ai? It's like it has stuff that Midjourney doesn't have, and I'm not even talking about AI canvas or texture generation. Let's just do. Let's just focus today on AI image generation, typically from a text prompt. Okay, so yeah, I don't want this. Yeah, so this is stuff I did yesterday just for fun, but uh, I'm gonna redo them today because my interest my interest my interest which may not be interest of uh, everybody is to take a picture uh, and get a painterly output out of it like a oil painting a kind of ac abstracty but very artistic i think that's what i want what you want may be different but this is what i want so so let's first load a picture so this is image prompt and this is not the one this is not the one you want to use to load your uh, input image when you do image to image it's, this is different and we might be able to look into this so you click on image to image and you put your input image in that case scarlet so here she is i use scarlet because she's very recognizable so whenever you do you generate stuff you can tell if it's you can tell if the output captured the lightness otherwise it's kind of hard if it's somebody you don't know okay so let's let's create a we are still gonna use a we're still gonna use a prompt of course so let's put a prompt here so Again, the input is that image, and I'm, but I'm gonna put a prompt like um, I don't know, vibrant oil painting. I like I like uh, abstracty stuff, so I'm gonna put with um, thick visible brush strokes. Right, okay. So I did. So you can choose your model here. Okay. So I guess this is the default. But I like this one, the Leonardo Creative. And you have to play with this. It doesn't take long to figure it out. Negative prompt. I don't think I'm gonna do any negative prompt. Uh, so. I'm going to talk about prompt generation. That's interesting. But anyway, let's just generate. Oh, hold on before I do that. So number of images, this is whatever it's going to output. Here I'm at two. Uh, prompt magic, blah, blah, blah. The dimensions, I just let it do whatever it wants. Guidance scale. I'm going to leave it. This is the default. Okay, the strength is the strength of the image. So this is a default. Um, that might be, let's try. That might be too small. Let's generate. Okay, so this will use four tokens. I'm not sure it's four because I'm only asking for two images, but okay. I guess the time probably depends on how busy it is. 
Okay, yeah, it's a little bit too... It's, it's the likeness is not here so let me change let me change the, the strength here i'm going to go to 0.5 let's regenerate i mean yesterday night this the night was the first time i used the uh, leonardo.ai i spent maybe an hour playing around and it takes literally an hour to figure out what everything does so i'm not gonna go through like a tutorial i'm sure there are plenty of youtube videos about it okay so uh especially on this one you can get the you see the uh the lip the the mouth you get a good good likeness here and here you can do all kind of things you can do upscaling on zoom uh upscale so i'm not gonna go through that Okay, so anyways, so that's good. So now what's pretty cool, and you got to admit that the result is very good, right? Okay, so now let's uh, look into prompt generation. So that can, help, that can help you with prompts if you don't really know what to do. So let's look into that. So number of prompts to generate, and basically I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to put the same thing, vibrant oil painting, and it's going to give me some ideas. Vis visible brush strokes. And of course you put put in the style of, I don't know, whatever, Edward Harper or whatever. So vibrant oil painting with figs, let's see what it comes up with. I did. Unable to generate prompts. Okay. So it gives you alternate alternate prompts. In this case, not that great. I mean, but you get the idea. Okay, so now I'm going to try something different. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's go back to image generation. So now I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try the image prompt. And let's see what I can do. Basically on my uh, computer, I've got some uh, like portraits made by, uh, I don't know who made that. I found them on Google. But this is the type of style I like. I'd like to have this one is not that great. Like this kind of very unfinished, unfinished look. So I'm gonna try to I'd like to see what happens if you feed that. Like this one. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna do image from. So let's put an image front. So let's put this one. Let's see what happens. Everything else the same. Just curious. I've never done this. I don't know what happens if you give like image prompts that are quite different. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's not good image weight i mean that doesn't make any sense oh i see if you do the image prompt i think you're losing image to image yeah that's not what i want i think the image prompt i would need to change uh, like uh, portrait let's say oil port uh, oil portrait of what's her name scarlet joan son uh, old portrait and i'm not gonna put this let's put vibrant or vivid 
So now I'm using the image prompt, which is this one, and I'm using this guy. So let's see what happens now. Yeah, so you can have one, but you cannot have both, apparently. If you know better, please let me know. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, that's not really what I wanted. Okay. All right, so I think you should uh, definitely take a look at this. It's very cool. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. It really does help my channel. And I will make more videos. See you around. Bye.